Hello there, YouTube. It's Bobby 3 back another kicking graphic novel review. Last time we did Haunt Volume 1, and today we are continuing with Haunt Volume 2. Yeah, I'm really liking Haunt. It's kind of been incorporated into the uh, Spawn universe. It always was very Spawn adjacent. And maybe it was in the Spawn universe the whole time, and I just don't know it. Because there's five volumes, and I've read the first three, but there's no Spawn stuff in there. But I know Haunt was in King Spawn Issue 1. So, I'm trying to catch up on all this Spawn Universe stuff, because I'm really interested in Spawn these days. In fact, I'm going to be reviewing more Spawn books and even Spawn action figures in the days to come. So please subscribe and hit that notification bell if you're interested. we got our big names on this again. Robert Kirkman, Greg Capullo, Todd McFarlane, Jonathan Glapian. I'm, I'm a big fan of, of all these fools. And this is another Venom clone book. Uh, but I don't mind, because one, it has original co-creator of Venom, Todd McFarlane, working on it. It's got his blessing and everything. And also, Venom's my favorite comic book character of all time. So, yeah, I'm happy to have Venom clones as long as they're done well. And I'm really enjoying Haunt. As I said, I burned through the first three volumes. Volumes four and five uh, have a creator team change, so I can't really speak to them. Especially since I haven't read them, but <laughs> I'm sure they're still quite good. But... Yeah, so we find out that Mirage and the dead brother have actually been working together the whole time. He was having an affair with her as well, and he really did love her. So he did, he loved Amanda, the woman that he ch stole from his brother. I don't like the word steal in this context, but you know what I mean. Stole from his brother and then cheated on her with multiple women. But he could never talk to her. His job never allowed him to actually have real conversations about his life with her, and it led to him kind of drifting away. Which makes sense, but still, like, don't cheat on her, come on. So he cheated on her with a woman named Mirage, and, you know, he was going to take the professor in and have her steal the notebook, and then they were going to sell the notebook for cash, uh, <laughs> but then make sure that it was recovered from the bad guys. Uh, and then he was going to run away with her, and they were going to kind of retire together. But then, you know, he killed the professor and was killed for the notebook. So they didn't get to retire together, sadly. But yeah, killing the professor wasn't part of their plan either. He just was a bad guy, so we killed him. <laughs> and then Mirage is a pretty cool character. I really hope they give her an interesting suit. She's kind of just dressed like Black Widow, but she doesn't have like any interesting little symbol on her to really help her stand out like Black Widow does, you know? So she's kind of just like that. And there's this guy named Whisper who you know, can give her info. She fights Cobra, the assassin, and she's she's having a lot of trouble with his death. Not only is she having trouble processing it, but now she's starting to feel really guilty because she sees what his actions and her actions have kind of done to his family. Uh, and, you know, she actually goes to try to save his wife when she gets abducted uh, and whatnot. And... When she sells the notebook, she actually sneaks into Amanda's home and dumps half of it on her bed. She's like, here's your cut. It's only it's the right thing to do. Uh, so then Amanda wakes up and she has a ton of money. And, you know, the living Kilgore has to kind of tell her that her husband was a secret agent and blah, blah, blah. He doesn't disclose all the cheating and stuff yet, but he does have to tell her that. And the other brother, the dead Kilgore, agrees. And so... In the first book, I didn't really mention this because I don't want to give every detail in these reviews. I want to leave plenty for you guys to, uh, you know, read on your own. I always, always recommend reading things for yourself. Um, that's one reason I'm not showing the art of every panel like a lot of comic book reviewers do. Also, I feel like one day copyright laws are just going to become so strict on YouTube that any video like that's probably going to get pulled down anyways. Uh, who knows? <coughs> Plus, I don't like editing. Just admittedly, I don't like editing. But yeah, so he kind of saves her from her abusive boyfriend and his friends. She doesn't have to be a prostitute anymore, but she always did like him. So, you know, the prostitute he was seeing now is his girlfriend. <laughs> Which, you know, isn't something that typically happens. Huh? No, not typically. <laughs> Pretty wild. But yeah, I love the Capullo art in this, by the way. It's it's so Capullo. But then, you know, our living Kilgore is getting trained as a secret agent. And there's this one joke. It's such a Kirkman joke, too. Where he's like, 
oh, what do I train first? What's, what am I training with first? Knives, guns, kung fu? And then his trainer is like, first you'll be training with this. And he holds up a pencil, and it turns out he's just got to study a bunch of stuff. And his ghost brother is just laughing at him. It's so... And, it, and the way it's drawn and cut to the punchline, it's just such a... It's such a Kirkman joke. <laughs> Really, truly wonderful. Anyways, I did mention that Cobra kind of gets a screwed up, almost shark-looking face because of his battle with Haunt. I mentioned that in the last volume, but we actually see it for the first time in this volume. Uh, at the end of, I think it's issue 7. It's like the last panel of issue 7. But yeah, Mirage has retired, and she's trying to do her thing. Uh, but, you know, she keeps getting dragged back in. And then Amanda, she has the money and she kept it, but she seems to be uncomfortable using it. And you can't really blame her. Uh, our living Kilgore is getting a lot of good training. He's progressing fast, uh, especially since he has his brother's help. Uh, Haunt, he doesn't use the symbiote in the training, but they do some training with the Haunt symbiote. And it's just to kind of see how far they can go, how far they can push it, what it'll feel like right before he passes out and whatnot. Uh, and then there's still a lot to learn about the Haunt symbiote as well. You know, and Cobra's pretty pissed off. He wants revenge, and then our big bad, Herg, is kind of like, nah, you're, you're going to get your revenge when I say him, and you're going to get your revenge, and it gives him the smackdown. It's pretty rad. And there's this kind of annoying guy at work who wants to be friends with the living Kilgore. Uh, and the living Kilgore doesn't seem to mind as much as the dead Kilgore. But yeah, he's like an official agent now, so they send him out into the field to do actual official agent stuff. You can see him glide with symbiote wings and do all kinds of cool fighting. This is also the volume where we find out that Cobra's kind of a cuck. His wife is a lot to deal with. <laughs> and it's like very interesting because these like suave assassin villains and stuff that are like real tough and things in comics are typically shown to be very, very good with women. But, <laughs> I mean, he's married to a supermodel and stuff, but it's just really funny. Like, she's always cheating on him, and she's, she's, just, she's a lot. She is complex, let me tell you. It's pretty wild. Pretty wild. But yeah, Haunt does kind of get the snot beat out of him by Cobra, because they do take it a little far, and he does get captured by the enemy and he's tortured but you know he doesn't really give them anything like he tells them about his brother but of course they don't believe him and it still takes a lot to even do that you know it's pretty wild and then like Cobra's just becoming more comedic as it goes along but not so comedic that it takes you out of it you know Haunt is uh, able to escape capture Herg uh, the agency thought him dead, but oh well. And then, uh, Kilgore moves in with this woman. Not his girlfriend, but she does clearly have a thing for him. But, you know, it's just so he's not living on base. They're just roommates. And then his girlfriend is, uh, <clears throat> she doesn't, like, fully move in with them, but she is there most of the time, it seems. <laughs> Autumn, uh, the former prostitute turned lady friend. And then we see all these super soldiers called drones, which kind of don't have their mind, any minds of their own. They just take simplistic orders, and they feel no pain, and they're almost impossible to kill. They rescue Herg, uh, get him out of there, which is pretty cool. And Herg was only supposed to sell them to one side, like he had an exclusivity agreement with some terrorist cell or something that he was selling them to. But then he sold them to the opposite side anyways. So the terrorist cells aren't, like, super happy with him, and his bosses don't seem to be super happy with him, because... Like, because Cobra wanted revenge on Haunt, and then Herg was like, that's stupid, you're not going to do that. And now Herg wants that same revenge, and now Cobra's like, are you sure you want to do this, my dude? <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty wild. And also, a lot of cover arts by Capullo. I think Cap Greg Capullo is probably my favorite cover artist in comics right now. And I know these Haunt comics are a little older, but... Like, still, you see him and you're like, that's Capullo's work, for sure. For sure. But yeah, Haunt does have some trouble fighting, uh, fighting off some of these guys. Beth is hospitalized, but luckily she does, in fact, pull through. 
And then at the end of the book, because we've kind of seen in some panels these like red eyes watching haunt. And then this other symbiote looking creature uh, at the end of the book kind of forms. It's this red and black one. Uh, and it's very interesting and I can't wait to see where it goes. But that was issues 6 through 12 uh, of Haunt. Uh, in Haunt Volume 2, thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Check out all, all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I'll be seeing you all, you guessed it, next time. Bye for now.